Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday night. Neighbors in a Biloxi subdivision are fighting against a new development project in their community. The residential development would be built out of shipping containers. Stephanie Poole has more. A new spin on development may come to a Biloxi neighborhood. Developer Ivan Spinner and Blanc's building partner to construct seven container homes near the MGCCC access road. They've been used once, so they're in really, really good shape. And then we're going to make it like one big community. So I think we have seven of them designed to do in different areas. And then in the middle of it will all be turf. And we are originally going to do a pickleball court, but it will probably be a basketball court. It will be a gated entryway. And we're really designed for more like... Um, professors, students, you know, small families. In order to get the ball rolling, Spinner is requesting conditional use. That's multifamily residential and variances on neighborhood business zoning. However, majority of homeowners in Edgewater Estates and Cove Drive are pushing back on the idea. I don't believe it needs to be rezoned. I think the city really needs to and keep the integrity of the zoning. It already is. Wendy Lally says a petition was started to prevent the approval of this project. There's over 100 signatures. She adds the the community isn't against development. They just simply want the property to occupy something else. Seven shipping container homes doesn't really benefit the community as a whole. At most, they have two occupants and each one would be 14 people. If you do a, a restaurant, a pizza shop, a nail salon, any sort of neighborhood type business. I've talked to some of the residents in there and they would be interested in a container bar that would be somewhere they can go, bring dogs, socialize. Um, have live music or do something like that where they can simply walk to it, gather and go home. Other concerns on the list are quality of the design, maintenance and safety and health standard. Brittany Collar with Blanc's building says homes will range from 370 to 800 square feet. On the inside, it's all conventional construction. It's sheetrock. We have spray foam insulation, um, you know, wood framing. All the same things that you're going to see in a house, we just have the advantage of shipping containers on the outside. Lally says a neighborhood alliance will be present at the Biloxi Planning Commission to continue the conversation. So we want to bring to the meeting facts, actually talk about what the actual project is, what it's made of, and uh, show them actually the substance of the product. In Biloxi, Stephanie Poole, WLOX News Now. The petition will be presented during the Biloxi Planning Commission meeting on May 2nd.